Good morning, everybody. 17 degrees on this Tuesday morning, June the 26th. For the past eight years, Jim Carrick has given audiences a true insider's look into the day-to-day -day life of one of Canada's top contractors. First on Real Renos and now on the new HGTV show, Builder Boss. Take a look. I know you don't want to hear this, but I think it really ultimately is time for Rich to, to take over running the Georgian build. It's the only way we're going to get it done. We've got the other five jobs that need There's your no attention way. right no. now. Well, no, I'm not handing that over to Richard. You can't bring him in to a job that's 95% finished, and you, you just can't do it. And Jim Carrick joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. So your shows are about giving people a look from your perspective, the contractor's perspective. Well, from both, from both the okay. homeowner and mine. And uh, you, know, you, you have to follow. I mean, I have these three things that I say, and it really is, it's time, money, and emotion. And when you put these three things together, as we were talking about well, you're it, scared. Yeah. You, you're scared. about to do a reno, <laughs> that's right. That's right. It, uh, if you're not mentally prepared for it, you could be well, in for a run. I had someone, when we, I've mentioned mm -hmm. this before, I think, when we did a big reno a few years back, and one of the, we talked to a number of contractors, and one of them said, you need to sit down together, my husband and me, and have a long conversation about if you're ready for this or not. Oh, yes. Well, what, yes. what is it? I mean, we, we are in the very mm -hmm. early stages in that we've just figured out we can afford it. What, what, what am I supposed to ask myself? Well, you got to be, you got to understand when, you, when you're going to get into one of the things that, you know, the, it's not only the contractors that are going to run into problems. You're going to, and you can say, oh, I'm going to have all my things, you know, figured out beforehand, but you won't. It's human nature. You know, if I give you a, an allowance for, you know, tiles at five bucks a square foot, I mean, you're going to walk in the tile store and, you know, you're not going to like those. You're going to like these over here that are $25 a square foot. So automatically, you know, the price goes up, the budget goes up, time is taken up. And if you're not ready for that, it just becomes a huge, huge hassle. And do you recommend people move out of their homes? Oh, definitely. If you can, yeah. yeah. Even if it's for a couple of weeks during the drywall stage with the dust just and everything else. Just put a tent in the backyard? Well, you know, and if you can, somewhere. You know, just yeah. somewhere. Jim, do you think this in-laws. Kind of, do you think this kind of reality television <clears throat> has been beneficial to contractors or in some ways kind of gets in their way because the public has this expectation, the ones that watch these shows, of what, what should be? It's both. It's, uh, you know, when I was first asked to do the show, you know, many, many years ago, 10 years ago, I mean, I was, I didn't know if I really wanted to do it because I'm putting myself out there as a contractor and you're going to see everything. I'm going to make mistakes because I'm human right. and, you know, people are going to see that. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to take the chance. I will do this because homeowners need to understand what we go through as a contractor to get the job done, but also what you should expect to do a job as, as a homeowner, what you're going to see, right. and and you know again just the, re the reality of it, the real you know. Do you think ho do you think homeowners are are smarter though now because of this? Uh, well, the, you know they're 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 smarter, and and sometimes it's it's actually got in our way because mm -hmm. they're telling us now how to do our job sure, because it's, it's, the internet is that everything is there, right? It's like people go to the doctor and they Google their condition and, and they, they come in and try and tell already done. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, and it must be the same thing. For it's you. the same thing. So it does make it tougher. It's I mean it it has opened up you know homeowners' eyes for sure, but it definitely has has put a little bit of strain but, on uh, us. People. You know, whenever you tell someone you're going to do a reno, it feels like it's notorious for going over budget and over time. So what do you do if, you know, one of the trades doesn't show up one day or something but like see, that? But see, that's what, I mean, when I walk in and we're doing the interview before I'm even hired, that's the first thing I tell you. I say, look, this is how it's going to go down. You know, guys may not show up for two or three days. Just be prepared because that's the way it is in the business. We have a shortage of trades. If you want the good ones, we're going to have to wait for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the things will go over budget, but it's not going to be me. It's going to be you putting it over budget. Yeah. And, the, and that's 95% of the time. Now, you know what? Homeowners are probably screaming at me right now saying, you know, no, no, no. But right. it is true. The time is the other factor, though. Most people will say, ah, I can get this reno done in six months, which is, is there, what is the realistic uh, time frame for? Like a three-bedroom house, for example. <laughs> yeah. Or let me a like, house, I've got a new house. I yeah. always say, you know, ten months to a year. Ten months to a yeah. year. Yeah, there are projects you're going to yeah. see on Builder Boss that have taken us a year, and, and it's but are gonna, you talking and about a gut? 
and I'm talking about brand new. And there's one that has taken us close to 18 months. A to year build, you're building. No, no, yeah. it, it was already 4,000 square feet, mm -hmm. and we added on another two, and then we renovated the 4,000. Okay, so that's like a massive, it's massive a, job. Yeah, it's huge. Um, but if you're doing, well, you're not gutting your house, are you? No, we're taking down walls and, and sort of rearranging the layout a little bit to make it open concept. Yeah, it still takes time. Isn't it challenging, though, when you have a renovation? Because you never know what you're going to expect until you, you know, uncover I mean, it. You know what? You try. I mean, you, you know, with the experience, you hope, you know, that the guy, the contractor, is going he's going to know what's back there. But we don't always know. I mean, we're going to run in. But any uh, experienced contractor will allow in his price or budget for things that you know are should you be interviewing a few contractors yeah you should you know four mm -hmm. i wouldn't do any more than that because it's just going to confuse you i mean you know people say get you know five ten but really do you have the time to do that yeah. and what are there what are, is there protection for the homeowner if the contractor happens to drag his or her heels i mean what yeah sure you know what you can you can have it all put in the contract but it works again it works both ways right i mean there's there's times where I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a decision. I just pulled the guys off and walked away. You know, I said, here, when you, when you have your decision made, let me know and I'll come back because I got other things to do. Yeah. And you got to remember, I can't, we can't, as a contract, we can't make enough money on one job. No. So we have a few jobs going on. So we have to, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to ask the contractor that, how many jobs he's on at, yep. at yeah, one time? For sure. Yeah, I mean, we're asked that all the time. Okay. I mean, to sum it up, really, it, uh, long, you know, when we, when, the other show first came out, uh, we had an email from a client, which, or from a, a viewer, which was very funny, and she said, you know, after, or, uh, I love how you don't sugarcoat the process. My husband and I were watching your show, but after watching your show, we decided to buy a new house. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, they were thinking of renovating, and after watching that, they decided to buy a right. new house. So you know what, at first, Not I thought... Not for your business, but... <laughs> no, but yeah, I thought, you know what, that's no good for me, but... yeah. It got across. My right. message got across. Exactly. Right? Um, the new show airs. Builder Boss, you'll be okay, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so you can move in here for a while. Uh, airs on Thursdays on HGTV. Jim Carrick, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great having you here.